Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we are going to be looking at the mole function on Power Automate. Now what is the mole function? Well the mole function is for multiplication. In our example today we are going to be using a variable of days which is an integer variable of 7 and then we're going to be using a float variable of weeks which is 52.14 as there is 52.14 weeks on average in a year. So if we pass both of these into our mole function we're expecting a return of 364.98 weeks in a year. So let's take a look at this on Power Automate then. Okay, so we are on Power Automate and we have our manual trigger to trigger our flow. We are then creating a variable to set the days of the week to seven. And then we are also creating a weeks variable, which is a float type. And we're sending it to 52.14 as that is the average amount of weeks in a year. So then what we're going to do is we're going to use a compose action and a mole function to then pass in our variable for days and our variable for weeks. So let's just kick this flow off then and see what we get back. Okay, so our flow ran successfully. We assigned an integer variable and a float variable and we got a return of 364.98. But it is important to note here that you can use different types of data. We're using both an integer and a float and it will return the one that gives you the most data. In this instance, an integer does not contain any decimal places and a float does contain decimal places. So if we were to go integer times float, then we will get a float return. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.